hi Rebecca. So hi. you are here in Agile uh, India 2012, and you are back again in 2013. Yes. So what's been your reactions um, for the current conference, and how do you compare with the previous? Well, one uh, one thing that has maintained from last year to this year is I've been very impressed with the quality of the questions. People are really thinking deeply about the, the presentations, and and I've received from very um, insightful questions on the presentations that I've I've given, and also the ones that, that I've been in. So that's something that you know I was glad to see continued. It's it speaks a lot to the audience uh, that is being drawn to this conference. Uh, and I have to hand it to Naresh and the rest of the program committee. This year's program is is very very strong. Um, I've heard from multiple people. Um, I don't know what I'm going to go to this time. Um, there's there's just too many things that that are in parallel. So this is a, a really strong program, and I I hope that that's something that can get out into the community here in India um, that this is the uh, this is the quality of content that is being generated in the agile community uh, here in India and for India and hopefully that will lead to um, even greater attendance next year um, if you were to say or take one big highlight for you being in this conference uh, one big highlight um, Oh boy, that that's a. I I really enjoyed uh, Neil's keynote this morning, and, and in particular, I'm I've always been a big fan of Richard Feynman, mm -hmm. and I never really expected to see uh, the life of Richard Feynman, the scientists weaving through uh, a talk at Agile India, and so yeah, I. That was pretty I, awesome. I mean, I've yeah. not seen that myself. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So so I I'd, I'd say that's that's one highlight, but but I think uh, uh, another highlight for me, um, going back to what I said before, uh, the interaction, the level of conversations, not just the questions in the sessions, uh, but the people I've had had a chance to meet and talk to. Uh, this is a fantastic group of people, and I think it uh, speaks quite highly of the uh, the way the agile community is 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 developing and has developed here in India. Um, the other question is obviously you travel a lot and you've been to a lot of conferences across mm -hmm. the globe. So if you have to compare this, I, I know it may not be fair mm -hmm. in comparison though, but mm -hmm. then where would you rate this? Um, well, I make a big deal about um, the, the questions and the conversations. And of course, the, the kind of conversations varies from conference to conference. When you've got a very technical conference, you've got people seriously geeking out on, you know, what's the latest JIT optimization or something like that. And in a conference like this, which is um, as much process as technology and tools, you get different kinds of conversations. But, but the quality of the conversations here, the quality of the questions, I think rivals uh, many of the conferences that, that, that I attend across the globe. Right. Um, so there are, we made small changes in terms of last year we had seven parallel tracks running. Mm -hmm. So this time we consciously segregated between management and technical. So is that something uh, why with you or? Um, I, I think that that is going to increase the ability of um, certain kinds of practitioners, uh, practitioners in certain kinds of roles, uh, to attend the conference because it's a bit easier to make the case that you know this is a conference that's dedicated to what it is that I do, whether that be iteration management or Scrum Master versus you know a, a developer or a tester. Um, uh, I'm a little bit concerned about it though because one of the things that we try to do on an Agile team is blur the boundaries between the roles and so that the segregation I, I, th I think can have a bit of a detrimental effect on the way uh, the various roles learn to uh, understand each other's problems. One of the big issues I think is uh, when you get conflicts between roles is that role number one doesn't really understand why role number two really cares about this right. and so I, I think having a bit more um, um, interleaving is is useful um, but practically speaking there aren't too many developers who are going to show up to, to a uh, session on uh, agile project management if there's a technical session available to them so so I think I'm probably being a little bit too concerned but you know maybe if there's a way to have some kind of interaction maybe it be a, a closing keynote on the first night or or something where you can perhaps get a little more um, mingling of the groups right, maybe an overlap mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's what I thought because that blurring of the lines is mm -hmm. critical in that yeah. sense. Right. You know, I, I find that when I deal with, with architects and developers, mm -hmm. when developers start to understand why it is architects care about things, mm -hmm. they, they start to be a little more comfortable and, and vice versa. And, and I think you, I think we can get the same kind of us versus them when you start thinking the management of Agile projects versus the doing of Agile projects when, in fact, on an Agile project, everybody is doing something. Right. 
So one final question. So would you recommend uh, people across the globe, wherever you travel, to attend Agile India Conference if you were to do next year? Yes, I would. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.